what it means. I wouldn't Already, yes. have shown it. Yeah, podría ser no debería haber hecho eso. O no habría, no, no habría hecho eso. Recuerden, recuerden que would hace que el siguiente verbo se traduzca en post pretérito, o sea, con terminación ría. Entonces, I yeah. would have, no habría, no habría hecho eso. Yo no habría hecho eso. I wouldn't have done that. Eso, eso. Okay, so I think I'd. What would you do in this situation? Check an, an answer and write your own situation. So here you had to choose a suggestion and then you have to write it. For example, number one, uh, if my classmates let her new smartphone in the classroom, I think I would run after her and give it back to her immediately. So that's it uh, according to number one. So number one, we already have it, right? Run after her and give it back to her immediately. What about number two? Someone climbs Someone climbs through your neighbor's window. What do you do? I could uh, call the police. Yeah, of course, call the police. The logical one. Then, three, your boss makes things difficult for you at work. Uh, I could talk to your boss. Talk to your boss. That's correct. Then, a friend sounds unhappy on the phone. I, I put the other, uh, other answer. Both are correct? Um, maybe. I put okay. the other. Ah, okay. What, which one? What did you write? I write. Go at her friend's house and talk about her problems. It's, I don't know. Okay, yeah, it's correct. Talk to like him. That. Yes, don't talk to him or her. Yes. Go to, go to his, go to her house and talk to him and talk about it. Yes, that's also correct. Good. Well, then in the next exercise, you had to use this uh, information in order to make phrases using I, I probably, I might, I guess, I think, etc. So, what do you have in number two, Emily? According to the someone climbs through your neighbor's window problem. Emily. Okay, she's not here, I think. <laughs> the Dulce, number two. Dulce, do you have number two? Okay, <laughs> Uh, if someone clips climbs through my neighbor's windows, I'd probably call the police. I'd probably call the police. Yes, it could be like that. If someone climbs through I my... Swear I, I meet teacher. It's correct or not? What, what, which one, sorry? I put, I think I need to call the police. Yeah. Yeah, you can, you can, you can yes. exchange them. There's no problem. I might call, call the police. That's also correct. If someone climbs through my neighbor's window... Where, whatever I want. Yeah. Yeah, there's no difference. Okay. I probably call the police. Just 
just the context. For example, in this one, if I say I probably call the police, it means that I'm not sure about what to do. But I can use I might, I, I may, I guess, I think, I probably, they have like, they are like the same. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Then, number three, Nico. Your boss makes things difficult for you at work. What do you do? What would you do? Me? Yes. Okay, okay. Let me check this. Uh, if uh, my boss makes uh, things difficult for my work, for, for me at work, uh, uh, I might um, talk to my boss. Okay, good. If my boss makes things difficult, Difficult for me at work. What do you say I might? I might. Okay, so in order to not repeat both, I'm going to use object pronouns. If my boss makes things difficult for me, I at work, I might talk to him. Good. Then, okay. um, thank you. Eddie, number four. A friend sounds unhappy on the phone. What would you do? Okay, um, if my friend sounds unhappy on the phone, I will call him. Okay. For talk about it. Okay, good. I. Talk. I talk to him. I talk to him. I, or I. Yes. It. If I say I talk to him to talk about it, it's it. It sounds uh like a pleonasm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just like that. Thank you. Thanks to you. If my friend sounds unhappy on the phone, I would talk to him. Okay, guys, questions, problems here with this structure? You sure? We're in the second second conditional? Yes, this is the second one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's continue. Um, exercise number two, complete these sentences with information about yourself. So Brenda, what do you have in number one? If I relative asked to borrow some money, I, I'd give some money, I'd probably to help him. Okay, I get him. <laughs> I give him some, I give him. Well, we, let's not repeat some money. Um, I give him, uh, I probably to help him. In our... Okay. I let no. him. Well, I let for him. Order. In order to significa para. Es muy usado en inglés. Sí. Es una estructura no más, más avanzada para no repetir ideas. Okay. Le prestaría, okay. lend him, lend es el verbo prestar, borrow mm. es el verbo pedir prestado. Eh, cuidado con asked, recuerda que la ed no se pronuncia. Ask, if, my, if ask. a relative asked to borrow some money. Si un, si un pariente pide algo, te pide prestado dinero, dinero prestado, ya. lo prestaría I let him in order to help me. Exactly, yes. Well, then number two, Diana. Mm 
Can you hear me, teacher? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, yeah. If I had three wishes, mm -hmm. wishes, I guess I guess I take absolutely absolute happiness, travel around the world, and my fanny's always will be always will be good. Again, I guess I what? Take absolute happy happiness. Ah, uh, so what is a solunch? Como que absoluta felicidad. Absolute. Ah, okay. I would say absolute happiness. It sounds very formal. Oh. <laughs> um, okay. So yeah, um, I I will so be. I, I'd be happy. Como sería feliz? <laughs> That's what you wanted to say. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, travel around the world. I travel around the world. Mm -hmm. Con el wood. And my family. And my family always will be good. And my family would be. Uh, would be would fine. be okay or would be fine yeah it sounds better would be fine and my family would always would be always fine like this no no uses el absolutely eso lo acabo de lo acabo de ver eh, absolutely solo se puede usar en con ciertos, con ciertos este, adjetivos y adverbios cuando representan como lo máximo de algo, pero por lo regular siempre es para eh, referirnos a cosas negativas. Like, are you tired? Uh -huh. I'm absolutely exhausted. ¿Ya? Entonces, en este caso, uh -huh. que es algo de hablas de felicidad, uh -huh. no lo uses. Ok, sí. Tiene connotación negativa. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. No sabía. Yeah. No worry. If I could have any job I wanted, I I think I what's it say? Presidenta. Okay. President, pero primero aquí falta el auxiliar. Podría ser I be sería o I choose elegiría. No sé cuál te parezca más. Porque I choose a president. Okay, I choose to be a president. Si yo pudiera elegir cualquier eh, trabajo que yo quisiera pienso que elegiría I choose to be a president elegiría ser una presidente yes yes teacher thank you you're welcome recuerden que aquí tiene que ir siempre la auxiliar would para los para expresar eh, suposiciones then number el I di que qué significa teacher I would es la abreviación de I would y would hace que, tu, que el siguiente verbo se traduzca con terminación ría en español. O sea que el verbo choose, elegir, aquí se traduce como elegiría. Yo pienso que elegiría ser presidente. ¿Ya? ¿Got it? Yes. I'd wish uh, being a president. I wish being a president. Creo que no, Nico. No usamos ING después de wish. I wish to be a president. Sí, porque wish no es modal, pero es un verbo que no va seguido de, de, este, de verbos en ING. Hay verbos que prefieren tener eh, infinitivos delante, o sea, to, to sing, to try, to wait. Y hay verbos que prefieren seguir con terminación ing pero wish no 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 los verbos después de wish no no se conjugan con ing 
hay una lista de eso, está avanzada, pero la voy a buscar, a ver si se las, se las envío. ¿De qué verbos prefieren ir seguidos de to y infinitivo? ¿Y qué verbos prefieren ir seguidos de, de love? De, perdón, de terminación ing. So, Eddie, number four. If I had a year of vacation time. If I had a year of vacation time. Vacation. Uh, vacation time. Uh, I would travel to Europe. Okay, good. I would travel to Europe. Mm -hmm. Yes. Travel to or travel in, both are correct. I would travel in Europe or I would travel to Europe. El to se traduce como a, viajaría a Europa. Y el in se traduce como por, viajaría por Europa. Okay, both are correct. And then number okay, five. Thank you. Thanks to you. Luz, number five. If I could change one thing about myself, I think I would be more responsible. I would be more responsible. Okay, correct. Good. Any question, guys? Can we, can we continue? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, then exercise number three, choose the correct word. So here you have to just to choose one of the options. For example, number one, I'd go, yo iría straight to the police, directo a la policía, if I saw someone breaking into a house. Number two, Brenda. My friend confess cheating on the biology exam biology his teacher is still biology exam but his teacher is still failing yes correct confessed number three dulce teacher what is cheating engañar o hacer trampa hacer trampa Ah, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. The verb is cheat. To cheat. Don't cheat during the exam. <laughs> Dulce, number three. Dulce? Okay, Diana, number three. In, in a difficult problem at work, I don't know whatever to talk to my boss about or just quit. Quit, quit. Quit. Okay. The what is predi predicament? Dilemma. Dilemma mm. is the same. Como aquí te estamos mostrando dos opciones, entonces lo que tiene es un dilema. ¿ya? If I'm in a difficult predicament. Obviamente ellos usan más predicament que dil dilema. Dilema existe también, pero son sinónimos. Predicament. Then, uh, number four, Nico. Yes. Uh, if, I, if I saw someone shoplifting, shoplifting in a store, I will tell the store manager immediately. Immediately. Immediately, okay. okay. Thank you, that's correct. Uh, number... Is shoplifting. Oh, uh -huh. Shoplifting is a robo, robo, pero robo eh, pequeño. O sea, cuando alguien que agarra cosas en la tienda. Sí, ya sea de comida, este... Ah, o bueno, si es una tienda de, de electrónicos, pues que te agarres un, una, unos audífonos, ¿no? Eso es shoplifting. 
Thank you, teacher. Lift es el verbo levantar. Lift. Entonces, este, es como levantar en comprando. ¿Ya? O sea, llevarte cosas comprando. Que te eches algo a la bolsa. ¿Ya? So, number five. Um, then, Eddie. Okay, uh, my uncle died and left me 20,000. 20, $20,000. $20,000. $20,000. I'm going to, I, I don't know, I think is um, invest, invest most for it. Yes, of course, invest most of it. Invertir, invest. No los puedes regresar ni tampoco vender el dinero. Invest, most of it. Invertir. Luz, number six. Um, when I went back to the parking lot, I tried to get into someone else's car by mistake. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Or error. By mistake. Good. Uh, number six, seven. Nico? Okay. Uh, there is so much great music to download from the internet. I don't know what to choose. Good. And the last one, Perla, eight. My own. My aunt won't let me use her car because she thinks I'm an illegal driver. He has a reward. No, reward is premium. I point is punto, no? You play there. Flat tire, eh, llanta ponchada. Flat tire. Tire es llanta y flat es plana, literalmente. Entonces, una llanta ponchada. Mm. Esta es una expresión. ¿Alguien se la sabe? ¿Es una expresión? Yes. Sí, no es como literal el significado. Mm. Anybody? Now set. Fly tire, entonces sería. No. Nobody. Point. 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 She has a point. Significa ella tiene razón. She has a point. Si mi tía no me dejaría usar el carro, no, porque piensa que soy una conductora terrible. Dice, tiene razón. She has a point. I had two accidents last year. Tuve dos accidentes el año pasado. Esta es una expresión. Cuando estás de acuerdo con alguien, cuando te das cuenta de lo que dijo, tiene, que tiene razón, dices, you have a point. Eso es, tienes razón. Yes? Uh, okay, teacher. Yeah, for that reason. Por eso esa no era literal, era esa expresión. You have a point. Ni siquiera point, punto. Por eso. Yeah, uh, yeah. Como que no. Yes. Y bueno, esta siempre que se las explico en clase, les, siempre les digo, recuérdense que si yo les digo, you have a point, no les estoy regalando un punto, les estoy diciendo, tienes razón. It is like, you, you are right. You are right. Estás en lo correcto. You are right. Ok. Ok. Do we continue? Sure, thank you. You're welcome. Yes, it's true. Okay, last page. Uh, page, page 88. No, sorry, page 87. What happened? Read the article. Read the article and match what happened to a possible action. So here you have the reading. So just tell me the answers, please. Possible action. Number one. 
I guess I take it back to the store and exchange it for something else. What number is it? Which number is it? Six. Yes. I guess I'd write a letter of complaint to the manufacturer. That's number- Number five? No. Number one? Yes, it is one. Maybe I'd ask them to repeat it. Five? Yes. I think I'd make an appointment to see the instructor to talk about it. Four. Yes, it is, number four. I'd probably wait until the next month to see if the mistake is corrected. Number two. Yes, and I'd write a letter to the city council and ask them to pay for the damage. Number three. That's three, exactly, yes. Any vocabulary problem here? Teacher, in, in the number five, how can we apply the, the letter? What's the difference? I didn't hear you well. How can we apply what? What's the difference? Uh, between borrow and lend. Oh, borrow, pedir prestado, lend, prestar. Aquí dice, tus vecinos te pidieron prestado tu eh, aspiradora. No puede decir, your next door's neighbors lend your bank, 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 vacuum, vacuum cleaner, porque estaría diciendo, tus vecinos te prestaron su... Eh, Aspiradora, cambia por completo el contexto, es al revés ahora. ¿Sí? Borrow es pedir prestado y len es prestar. ¿Ya? Ah, ok, ok, ya. Yep. Por ejemplo, Carla, borrow, borrowed me uh, 200 pesos. Carla me pidió 200 pesos. I lent her. Yo le presté 100 pesos. Pedir prestado y el otro es prestar. Got it? Got it. Esa es la razón por la cual cuando pides algo siempre es con borrow. Can I borrow your pen? Te puedo haber prestado tu, tu pluma, tu bolígrafo. Can I borrow your pen? Así, tiene que ser con I, ¿no? Can you borrow your pen? Es algo que suelen hacer los estudiantes. Can, como siempre, la pregunta, las preguntas son con you. Luego dicen, can you borrow? Eso es incorrecto, porque ahí dice, ¿puedes tú pedir prestado tu bolígrafo? Es, ¿puedo yo pedirte prestado y el objeto que pidas? Can I borrow your pen? Así se piden prestadas las cosas. Can I, porque el borrow es el verbo pedir, pedir que te presten. Yes, you understand the difference? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, thanks. Okay, guys. So finally, you have to write your own. Uh, what would you do in, in each situation? Write another possible action. So for situation number one, Eddie, what do you have? What would you do? Get yes. I mean, I don't understand the situation. <laughs> you don't understand the situation? No. He said, you bought a camera, compraste una cámara on sale, en oferta, at the store, en la tienda, but it didn't, it didn't work right, pero no funcionó bien. The sales clerk said, el, el vendedor te dijo, we can't do anything about it. No podemos hacer nada al respecto. 
what would you do? Uh, I will go to the store. Um, ya, ya fuiste oh, porque fuiste y el, y, el, y el vendedor te dijo que no se podía hacer nada. We cannot do anything about it. Okay, uh, maybe I will go to the police. <laughs> <laughs> okay. ¿Qué se les ocurrió a los demás? <laughs> we talk with Profeco. <laughs> Ok, that would be a good idea. No sé cómo se llama el Profeco en the United States, but yes. Yes, que como que un organismo que se encargue de la protección del consumidor. Teacher, I, I could... Uh, maybe I talk with his boss about my problem in my camera because the sales store, sales store, okay. sometimes are very I, hungry. I, I would ask... Uh -huh. I would ask to talk to the uh, to the manager, no, con el gerente, por ejemplo, yeah, or to his to his her boss, o con su jefe. Yes, sí, sí, es cierto, guys, do that. Yo yo lo hice hace poco por. I go go to the bank and I talk with a executive. Executive? Mm -hmm. Let me write it. I'd go to the bank and what? And I ask to talk. Mm -hmm. To an executive? With a, with a, yes. To, talk to. El verbo siempre es talk to, hablar con. Talk to an executive y hablar con un ejecutivo. Okay. I'd ask to talk to an executive. Good. What about situation number three, Nico? Sorry, what was the number three? I cannot see it. Number three, you sat on a park bench, banco de, en el, la banquita de, del parque, that had wet paint on it. You ruined your clothes. There was no wet paint sign. You understand the situation? Yeah, yeah. Well, first, <laughs> at so first would I, I would scream, no? <laughs> 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 Then uh, I would will complain with everybody with, with myself with the, with the bank <laughs> con, con el banco and, uh, yeah I, I will go <laughs> yeah but uh, I will uh, go straight to the in the in the ayuntamiento to the, the city to the city Iguala. council to the city council mm -hmm. oh it sounds It's better in English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I would go straight to the city council and I com and I would complain about it. Mm -hmm. Good. Good idea. Ahí sí veo más difícil que te solucionen aquí en México. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Situation number four, Brenda. Bueno, I can see to my instructor or teacher about it, why I have a bad grade. Again, slowly, so, please. Okay. <laughs> I can see to my instructor or teacher about, about it, why I have a bad grade. Solamente verlo porque él me puso una mala nota. Ah, ok, pero no hablar con él. No sería hablar con él. Ajá, tal Ah, pero me leíste la, situ la situación. Ok, you're not, you're not no. happy with the grade you got Segu in an important Segundo, class. Según yo respondí. Ah, sorry, again. Según yo respondí. Again, please. Okay. I, could, I could 
talk to my instructor or teacher? Could, I could. Do I have a bad grade? Could, uh -huh. I could talk to my teacher. And ask him. And... Okay, it would be like that. I could talk to my teacher. Podría hablar con el con mi profesor or to the teacher and ask him y preguntarle, ask him or ask her why I have a bad grade. Ya? Yeah? Okay, thank you. So, number five, Diana. Teacher, uh... I don't understand. I didn't understand the paragraph. Uh, Let's see. Your next door neighbors borrow your vacuum cleaner, tu aspiradora. Te pidieron la aspiradora a los vecinos. When they returned uh, it, cuando la regresaron, it was damaged. Estaba dañada. I would talk with my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And uh, an order, a new one. I would talk to them. O sea, ¿y tú la pagarías? ¿Tú la ordenarías? No. Uh, que ellos me den una, an order. And would ask them, I sería would entonces, to buy them. a new one. Yeah. A new one. I would talk to them, hablaría okay. con ellos, and would ask them, y les pediría to buy a new one. Que me, que, compraran, que me compraran to buy me a new one. Yeah. Buy me a new one. Those are difficult situations. Esas son <laughs> situaciones difíciles o entre amigos cuando pides algo y luego resulta la, el objeto dañado y la persona te dice que no, que no la dañó. <laughs> Those are difficult predicaments. Those are predicaments. Okay, then number six, the last one. Uh, ¿Quién me ha pasado? Perla. Situation number six. A friend. Puedo, puedo gave, yes, a friend gave you an expensive vase, un florero muy caro, a vase, for your birthday, but you didn't really like it. <laughs> What would you do? You understand the situation? Uh, I will I will talk with my friend. Um ¿Hablarías con él? Pues nada más eso. Ajá, nada más hablaría con él porque no le pues no, ni modo que se lo cambie, ¿verdad? Es un regalo. Yes, exactly so. <laughs> Pero entonces se lo dirías, dirías, I, I, I don't like your, the vase. What would you do, guys? Pues solo hablaría con él. I will talk with my, my friend. I would talk to him. I would talk to my friend. ¿Y ustedes, chicos, qué harían? I mean, take with my mother. Again? No sé dónde Ah, okay. I, I would uh, take to my mother. Give. I would give. give. I would give. give it to my mother. Okay. <laughs> I would give it to my mother. Se lo daría a mi mamá. Or I wouldn't say anything. Creo que no usamos la negativa, eh? I wouldn't say anything and keep it. Y me lo quedaría. <laughs> yes. I wouldn't say anything. No diría nada. Y quedármelo, yes, because it's a gift. Es un I, I put, bueno, pero no puse negativo. Yo puse algo así, pero no es negativo. Ok, say it, say it. You said, I recite, I recite the gift and sometimes I use it. Okay, I receive it, lo recibiría. I receive it and sometimes I use it, lo usaría. Ok, well, it's decoration, so solamente se pone por ahí. <laughs> And I use it. Ok, good guys.
Any question here? No, do we continue? Sure, I have a question. When mm -hmm. we can use the auxiliary doing a question, is that I can see in the answer number four, uh, in the last part of the sentence, why I have a bad, a bad grade? We can use also the, we can say, uh, why do I have, sorry, uh, do I have a bad grade? Something like that. Why do you ha why have a, good, a, bad, a bad grade? Why do you have a, good, a bad grade? Um, when you start a phrase with, with another clausul, with another clause, con una clausula, you eliminate the verb do, eliminas el verbo do. Por ejemplo, do you know, uh, Do you watch? Do you watch? Does she watch too much TV? Es una pregunta que le estás haciendo a alguien directamente, ¿no? Bueno, yo de, de, de tu hermana, por ejemplo. Does she watch too much TV? Pero si quiero decirte, ¿sabes? ¿Sabes si ella ve mucha televisión? La pregunta te va a quedar así. Do you know? ¿Sabes? Esta se llama cláusula. Cuando inicias una, como con otra oración, cuando inicias una pregunta con otra oración, hay, tienes que hacer ciertos cambios en, en la segunda oración. En el caso de do, lo eliminas. Esta quedaría. No puedes decir, do you know if uh, she watched too much TV? Do you know, uh, does she watch too much TV? Te quedaría. Do you know, uh, Ah, bueno, ya la dije. If she watch too much TV. Ya se desaparece el do. Cuando inicias eh, con, otra, con otra cláusula atrás, como en este caso que ya dijiste, I could talk to my teacher. Ya iniciaste con otra cosa, entonces el do ya se pierde. Adelante. ¿Ya? Ok, ok. I got it. So, what is the clausula in the number four? El I could talk, que estás usando modales. Si hubiera sido would, sería lo mismo. Con would o con talk, ya adelante la, la segunda cláusula ya no, ya no llevaría do. ¿Ya? Ok, ya. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. Esta reglita está en las primeras lecciones del libro. Creo que tampoco la hemos visto y sí es muy importante. Luego la checamos. Cuando tienes que, con quién tienes que cambiar el lugar de Ken y el sujeto. Y con el verbo to be, al verbo to be lo mandas al final. Por ejemplo, where, where is the station? Where is the museum? Where is the museum? Pero si ya le preguntas a alguien con cláusula, dices, do you know where the museum is? ¿Se sabían esta o se acuerdan de esta? Yes. Si preguntas directamente, where is the museum? Pero si preguntas con cláusula, do you know where the museum is? Ok, esos son los tres cambios que hay. Verbo to be se va al final. Ken cambia de posición con, eh, con, este, con el sujeto y el do desaparece en segundas cláusulas. Esas son las tres reglitas de, de cuando, cuando iniciamos frases con, como con dos, cuando son dos oraciones y la, prim la primera es, es como pregunta. Ok. Ok. Ok, teacher, thanks. You're welcome. Bueno, luego, luego lo checamos a fondo con ejercicios. So, let's go to your book. Let's finish unit 15. Open your book on page. Page 101. Ya no hicimos el listening, ¿verdad? Ok, so number four. Listening. Tough situations. Tough situations. Situaciones eh, 
difíciles, tough situations. Tough significa difíciles. So like, like problems, like uh, dile dilemas. Wait a little bit. Let's let's listen here to three people talk about predicaments, dilemmas, and please check the predicament they are having. You have to check the predicament they are having. Are you ready? Page 101, exercise four, listening, tough situations, part A. Listen to three people talk about predicaments. Check which predicament they are talking about. One. You know, I'm really worried about Chris. Why? Well, this may sound silly, but he spends too much time on the internet. I think he might be addicted to it. Really? Why do you think so? We went to the movies yesterday, and during the whole movie he was on his phone. He couldn't even take a two-hour break to watch this movie he's wanted to see. Then I suggested we go to the mountains this weekend for a hike, and he said no. He said if he didn't have Wi-Fi service in the mountains, he wouldn't go. Wow, that is pretty bad. We all need time away from technology. So, what would you do if you were in my position? Would you say something to him? I wouldn't tell him he has a problem. He wouldn't like that. I would continue to suggest activities that don't involve the internet. He can't say no forever. Oh, I would be honest and tell him what I think. He will make excuses until you're direct with him. It's a problem that could affect his relationships with other people, and he needs to know that. Two. I just got an email from my friend Carrie. She lost all her money on vacation in Europe. Isn't that horrible? Yeah, that's terrible. Blake, what would you do if you were on vacation overseas and you lost all your money and credit cards? I guess I'd call my parents and ask them to send me some money right away. What about you, Zoe? Yeah, I'd probably do the same thing. Though I guess I'd probably sell my watch and camera. Or I might get a job as a waitress somewhere till I made enough money to buy a plane ticket home. Three. You know, something happened to me this morning, and I don't know what I should do. What happened? Well, I was taking a test in math, and I saw two classmates cheating in front of me. How were they cheating? Well, I heard some noise, so I looked over there, and they both were looking at their arms. Their arms had writing all over them. Oh, so they wrote the answers on their arms? Yeah, and then after class, they were laughing and talking all about it. What would you do if you saw two people cheating on a test? If I were in your position, I would talk to the teacher. I would tell him what you saw and ask him not to say that you told him. It's not fair if they get a good grade and they didn't spend any time studying like you did. I wouldn't get involved. I would pretend I didn't see anything. It's not your business, and sooner or later they'll get caught. Okay, so in number one, what's the predicament? Chris is addicted to the internet. <laughs> yeah, of course, right? Then uh, situation number two. Harry lost all her money in Europe. Yeah, it is. And the last one? So it's a her so classmate it's cheating. 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 Okay, that's correct. Cheating. Now we're, now we're going to listen again. And you have to write two suggestions given for each predicament. Yeah, suggestions. You have to identify the suggestions. El amigo con el que platican le da sugerencias. Write them, please. Two suggestions. Are you ready? 
Yep. Page 101. Exercise 4. Part B. Listen again. Write the two suggestions given for each predicament. 1. You know, I'm really worried about Chris. Why? Well, this may sound silly, but he spends too much time on the Internet. I think he might be addicted to it. Really? Why do you think so? We went to the movies yesterday, and during the whole movie he was on his phone. He couldn't even take a two-hour break to watch this movie he's wanted to see. Then I suggested we go to the mountains this weekend for a hike, and he said no. He said if he didn't have Wi-Fi service in the mountains, he wouldn't go. Wow, that is pretty bad. We all need time away from technology. So what would you do if you were in my position? Would you say something to him? I wouldn't tell him he has a problem. He wouldn't like that. I would continue to suggest activities that don't involve the Internet. He can't say no forever. Oh, I would be honest and tell him what I think. He will make excuses until you're direct with him. It's a problem that could affect his relationships with other people, and he needs to know that. 2. I just got an email from my friend Carrie. She lost all her money on vacation in Europe. Isn't that horrible? Yeah, that's terrible. Blake, what would you do if you were on vacation overseas and you lost all your money and credit cards? I guess I'd call my parents and ask them to send me some money right away. What about you, Zoe? Yeah, I'd probably do the same thing. Though I guess I'd probably sell my watch and camera. Or I might get a job as a waitress somewhere till I made enough money to buy a plane ticket home. 3. You know, something happened to me this morning, and I don't know what I should do. What happened? Well, I was taking a test in math, and I saw two classmates cheating in front of me. How were they cheating? Well, I heard some noise, so I looked over there, and they both were looking at their arms. Their arms had writing all over them. Oh, so they wrote the answers on their arms? Yeah, and then after class, they were laughing and talking all about it. What would you do if you saw two people cheating on a test? If I were in your position, I would talk to the teacher. I would tell him what you saw and ask him not to say that you told him. It's not fair if they get a good grade and they didn't spend any time studying like you did. I wouldn't get involved. I would pretend I didn't see anything. It's not your business, and sooner or later they'll get caught. Okay, so... Do you have the answers? Yep. So number one, tell me what were the suggestions? Suggestions. Uh, they will invite Chris to activities that don't involve uh, the internet. Okay, so... Uh... Again, sorry, can you repeat it? Yes, uh, they will invite Chris to activities that don't involve the internet. Okay, good. So don't involve, don't invite <clears throat> activities Activities that don't involve the internet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the other suggestions? What is involved? Uh, involucrar. Okay. And the other, the other suggestion. No. Being direct. Okay, being direct. Uh huh. Oh, sorry, direct. Yeah, she would be. 
she would be honest or, or direct or direct. Both are correct. I think the American people say direct and the British people say direct. Both pronunciations are correct. Yeah. Okay. So she would be honest and tell him and tell him uh, what she thinks. O en resumen, como lo dijo Nico, she would be direct. She would be direct. Te va a ser directa. O sea, te va a decir eh, que, va, que le va a decir cuando sienta que algo esté ande mal con la relación because of the internet. <laughs> number two, suggestion number one. Call to my parents. Okay, call his parents and. Then my watch or my camera. But, no, no, le va a llamar? ¿Qué, qué va a hacer con la llamada? No. Um, but the first call has parents. <laughs> to ask for money. No, que va a su papá, si no, que lo venda. No, here he was, call his parents to ask for money. Tu primer dijo, pues le voy a deber llamar a mis papás y pedir dinero. And that's it. And the other suggestion? Ahora sí, Brenda, ¿qué dijiste? Oh, sell her watch or her camera. Yeah, sell her watch. Or money. Or, ca or camera, exactly, to get money. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And... Or to work as a server. Esa no la mencionaron, ¿no? Work as a server. Ahí había otra. She could work as a she server. She get a job as a waitress. Exactly. Until she get enough money to buy a airplane wallet. Uh, no, how do you say Ticket. wallet? Ticket. 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 Yes, yeah. exactly. Work as a waitress in order to until until she she has money to buy her ticket, her airplane, her plane ticket. And the last one, number three. Talk with the teacher. Talk to the teacher. Mm -hmm. So what else? And ask him not to, to say that she told him. I iba a aplicar la de, pero no le diga que fui yo. <laughs> pero pedir que no le dijera a la persona que ella le dijo. Yes? <laughs> And the other option? Say involucrar. Involve. Involve. Don't get involved, right? Yeah. Oh, involved. Okay. Yeah. He wouldn't get involved. Mm -hmm. No se involucraría. He wouldn't get involved. So he's going to, he, he, would, he would just pretend that he didn't see anything. And that's it. No problems. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I do. That's what I prefer to do. <laughs> Because I think it's better not to not to have enemies in life. <laughs> so, any question? Doubt? Existe una palabra así, involucrar en en inglés, involucrate, algo así. Creo que no es esta involve. Involve. Let me check if there's another word, but I I don't think so. I think it's the only it's the only word I remember. Oh, it's in, it's in French. Let me change the language. Mm. No, it's the only one involved. 
in that there it, it doesn't exist in Volucrate or something like that. Okay, then we continue. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's continue. Next page, 102. Let's see a little bit of vocabulary. Exercise six, war power, opposite, antonymous, opposite. Please find nine pairs of opposites in this list. Complete the chart, then compare with a the partner. So here you have the words and you have to write them here, but with the opposites. For example, the opposite of accept is refuse, aceptar, Rechazar, refuse. Repeat after me the, the pronunciation. Accept. 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 Admit. Accept. Admit. 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 Agree. 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 Borrow. Borrow. Deny. 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 Disagree. Disagree. Dislike. Dislike. Divorce. 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 Enjoy. Enjoy. Fine. Fine. Forget. Forget. Land. Lose. Lose. Mary. Mary. Refuse. Refuse. Remember. 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 Safe. 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 And spend. 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 Do you know all the words, all the verbs? What is dining? Uh, deny. 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 Uh, deny. Mm, it's like refuse. It's re como rechazar. But there's another word. Declinar. Declinar. Thanks. You're welcome. Any other? O also, y sí, también es rechazar, rechazar o negar, deny, negar. Refuse, rechazar. Okay. Okay, continue, complete the chart. Tell me when you finish, please.
Yeah, it's on. Okay, let's wait for the others. Finish the turn. Okay, so here you are the answers. Accept, refuse. Admit, deny. Agree, disagree. Borrow, lend. Dislike, enjoy. Enjoy, no, no es enjoy, eh? es con enjoy, enjoy. Divorce, marry. Find, lose. Forget, remember. Save, spend. Do you have the same answers? Yes. Yes, sir. Any question? No. Fail. Okay, good. So that will be all for today, guys. Uh, there, there won't be homework because we didn't finish the unit.